Hello everyone, my name is Hazard True. how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. In this video, I'll be sharing with you secrets within the Felucia map you may have missed during your time on the map so far. DICE have made most impressive connections to Canon and Legends material. Let's just get straight into it by taking a look at the reason why the battle is even taking place. It is because of a valuable medicinal plant called Nicillin. This is the same crop Hondo wanted to take in the Clone Wars TV show. In this game, the droids and clones are fighting over this and we can see it being grown by the farmers on the map. They even have crates full of cubes Nicillin. The droids transport these crates using carts, which I believe are brand new and have not been seen in Star Wars before. In the farmer village area, there was a harvest meal taking place before the droids attacked and in this part of the map, there is a lot to learn about. There are several pieces of cloth on sticks called fish pond and they have fish images on the material. These fish are different types of Naboo scale fish. There are five different ones on the cloth. La, Fa, Mi, Ti, and Si. They were first seen in The Phantom Menace when we meet Boss Nass and in the Bongo scene. The Mi are also in the Clone Wars TV show, the episode titled Children of the Force. On the sticks and behind the cloth, there is spilled candy and bags full of candy. There are different types of bags and they are shaped like the fish on the cloth. You can see some of the candy and bags in some of the Felucian homes as well. And the references with candy does not stop there. The candy shapes themselves resemble the mealy run fruit, the jogan fruit, gelagrubs, the olopom that is a species native to Naboo, and driss. Speaking of driss, you can find a driss pod on the map thanks to a trail of buns. Before we take a look, here is some additional info on driss. They were flowers that were grown on Tatooine, and Shmi Skywalker served them in The Phantom Menace to our heroes. Near one of the homes, you can see a trail leading to a box that has driss next to a chronometer. This is essentially a clock, and DICE have used the same design as seen in the Clone Wars TV show episodes 206, 207, 208, and 209. These were used by Jedi and the Clone Troopers. Child Felucian natives appear to love drawing as there are many drawings in the village. You can see several pieces of paper with chalk-like crayons. Although it is hard to tell what a lot of the drawings are, some do show some familiar creatures. From what I can make out, there are rancors, these could be jungle Felucians as seen in the Forced Unleashed game, which are now canon thanks to Galaxy's Edge. Here you can see birds, acclays, Gallagrubs and Acclays were actually not native to Felucia. It's not canon anymore. They weren't even exported there. That was in Legends, just to clear that up. But that is a reference back to Battlefront 2005. This one shows Felucian farmers and maybe a jungle Felucian or something. Then we have a Felucian bird with a pie that the natives make. Felucian children playing football are also drawn. This exact goal and ball can be found next to a house in the village. There is also a second goal with a different coloured piece of cloth. This image shows Nicillin and maybe the pie again or something. Even more drawings depict a lot of battles, it seems, involving birds and other unrecognisable creatures. Some of the Rancors look similar to the ones seen in the Force Unleashed game, and this drawing of the Rancor with the little girl is a reference to the Kinect Star Wars game. She was called Kralla in Legends, and even was mentioned in a Clone Wars era comic. In the homes of the farmers, there are fridges that contain various food and drink. But before we take a look at the food contents, there are fridge magnets. The magnets show off mealy run, jogan fruit, driss, some feed archways that we see on the feed map, pictures of the feed palace, which was a promo image for Battlefront 2, plus it has the word feed. There is also Ourobrush letters that are put into words. Rolexter, another YouTuber, translated them all, so all credit goes to him on these. I think the fact DICE even made phrases up like this is just fantastic. And something kind of sad is that in some of the huts you can hear Felucian farmers hiding in various basements, much like we see in the Clone Wars TV show. Mm. 
Okay, so let's talk fridge foods. The most famous of the bunch is Bamfa milk, aka blue milk. We first see this in A New Hope and many other things. There is a carton and a bottle, and the bottle is actually straight from Star Wars Rebels. An advertisement from the episode Brothers of the Broken Horn shows this, and StarWars.com has a page saying, among the posters seen in the Nixus Hub 218 station is an ad for blue milk. The tinned fruit in the fridge is mealy run, the can is small so I assume it is sliced mealy run, and this fruit is also on the Takadona map and seen in Star Wars Rebels. The last carton could be berries or something like a plum, but it is hard to find what it is canon exactly. It could be oyoi berries first seen as a background fruit during The Force Awakens in Maz's castle, and it has references in Galaxy's Edge. Some of the fruit it could be, I found researching is blum fruit, something that Ewoks ate in Legends, but I doubt it is. The berries I just mentioned appear to be used when cooking a pie, and I could not find anything close to resembling this 3D model in Star Wars. And we also know Ewoks loved their pies, and that was translated into an Ewok hunt easter egg. This other food found in deep pans has no name or any canon material, but it looks like a stew of some sort. However, there could be a Galaxy's Edge connection here, if you believe there to be. Galaxy's Edge has a plant-based dish called Felution Garden Spread. It is a plant-based meat made up of the Yadira plant from the Force Unleashed games. So Galaxy's Edge has now made that plant canon and it's served with nicillin harvested by Felution farmers. The next part we will focus on is different species found around the map because there is a lot more background info to them than you may think. The first one I will be talking about is the Felucian snails. You see many of them around the map. Their only other appearance in Star Wars media prior to this is the now non-canon game, The Force Unleashed, and they looked about the same. This means DICE have now made them canon with Battlefront 2. What I find really cool is, is that they leave a trail behind them as they move, which is a really nice touch. Now we have to talk about pet slugs. Once again, their only Star Wars appearance prior to Battlefront 2 was in the non-canon Force Unleashed game. Whilst the model in that game is not in Battlefront 2, there is a prop on the map with the file name called Slug Hut. And in the house next to this hut, there is a snail without a shell sat in the chair, and that's who the hut is for. There is also a bunch of us around the village, there is a few of us that you may come across as well. There has also been some confusion over the Felucian Manta and Ripper. These are the same thing. The canon name is now Felucian Ripper. These were also seen in the Force Unleashed game and weren't canon, but DICE have made them into canon thanks to Battlefront 2. There is also several wind decorations for the Ripper outside various Felucian homes. Another flying creature has even more history too. The Felucia bird, the purple one we see on the map, is seen in Revenge of the Sith during Ayla's death scene. It flies in front of her, distracts her before she is killed by Bly and other men in her legion. The canon name is simply Felucia Bird, and the exact same 3D model used in Revenge of the Sith is used in The Phantom Menace. They pass in the Naboo swamps before a meeting with Bosnas, and according to StarWars.com, ILM reused the model of the Peko Peko in Episode 1 when George Lucas requested a bird-like creature on Felucia. DICE made the Felucian bird look just how it did in Revenge of the Sith. A potential related species to the bird is the Gelagrub. Even though a lot of people know about the Gelagrubs on the map, I wanted to make it known to more people what they are. The Gelagrubs, also known as the Felucian Ground Beetles, were first seen in Revenge of the Sith being rowed by 327th Legion troopers. This was a favoured way of transport by the clones during the Clone Wars. In Battlefront 2, there are dead ones around the map. In this segment, I'll be sharing with you things on Felucia that we have no info about, as it is brand new, or it just doesn't have a name in canon. The first example I will give you is the fish in the Solak pit. The Solak was drowned, and in the water, fish have been living there. They are not canon, and they don't have a name, or have appeared in any Star Wars media, but the 3D model is the same as the fish on Kashyyyk in Battlefront 2, but it does have a different and new texture. Felucia also has a lot of plants. Pretty much all of the ones seen in Revenge of the Sith have been put in Battlefront 2. Despite us knowing the shapes of many, there are no proper names for them in canon as far as I can find out. The game files give us some names though. This is the Firefly plant. They can come in many different sizes. 
This one is called the Aubergine Flower, and this one is called the Cantaro in the files, but in Legends, it's called the Spore Plant. The iconic Spear Plant is called Spear Stack Plant. As for mushrooms, there are two kinds, black and green, but no past canon mentions. The exploding mushrooms things are called puffballs in the files, and they've not been seen in Star Wars media in the past. Same goes for the pop-up flowers that release gas and then go back in the ground. Oh, and these buns and dentures? No canon connection is happening here, but pastry is a big thing in Sweden, so Dice could have took inspiration from that. Moving on to foods, there are also some spices used by farmers in their homes, but I can't find a previous canon design what they're based on. In some homes, on the oven, you will see a packet with drawing on which looks like bread and a bun, meaning this is what farmers use in cooking. You can also spy fizzy orange and green drink. Other fruit includes several of the same models used on the Nabu feed map, from apples to this one with a rounded base of four areas. You can also spot a jar with circular objects in. These could be plums that are canon. Finally, you may have noticed I've not spent time discussing the rancors, flies, the Felucian farmers, and the Sarlacc in more detail, plus some other things because I've already detailed them several times in my past Felucian Easter egg videos a few weeks ago. But if you want to know more about them, please go watch those videos after this one. Thank you. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on things down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe if you are new around here. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.